So I'm really excited about today. I decided uh, I'm gonna go back to the very first sculpture I ever did. And I'm gonna do it in the ZBrush. And that is the big gray one up there. And that's the Savage Devil. Hunt. Favorite, favorite monster ever created. Fell in love with this and uh, started sculpting. It was like my way out of a, a depressed state and that's how this started. So thank you, Devil Ho. We'll see how it goes. Huh, this might be harder than I thought. Oh well. Yeah. And. Let's go. So I'm at the point now where I got the basic build out. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna have to do a lot of changes, but now I can move on to the next part, which is actually modifying all the body parts and setting them where they need to be and getting the main shape down before detailing. So this, part, this part can actually take longer than all the other stuff, especially when you're a perfectionist. So it's good not to be a perfectionist because imperfections make things look more realistic. Cool. So what I'm doing here is I need to get the proportions of the body right. I want to make sure that the length of the neck and the head is a certain way along with the body and the tail. And the easiest way to do that is to bring new shapes in and make them the size I want and then work from there. It really gives a visual uh, way for me to see where everything's at and it makes me move and flow my work smoother. Probably making that up, but yeah, that's, 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 that's how I do it. It was at this point I changed my reference picture. I wasn't too uh, satisfied with how the devil hole looked. I didn't think it was aggressive enough. So I went ahead and just kind of sat back for a second, wanted to see what I needed to change, and then realized I'm making my own devil hole. So I got really excited at this point. said it's a good thing if you're not a perfectionist. So this, will, this part can actually take longer than all the other stuff, especially when you're a perfectionist. Yeah, I'm a perfectionist. Great. So I headed to limo. It's, I don't have the shape I want. This is common when you build something, especially if you're trying to follow a piece that's already been made, a figure, a guy, or a character, whatever it may be. And it's really annoying because you can make it look exactly like you want or you can make it look like the character but when trying to make it a mix between your style and the original style it's really really hard and it drives me crazy so where i'm at right now is if you look i have the neck and the head kind of the length i want them but then you look at the body the body looks really tiny and squished together um i want to make it thicker, rounder, but every time I do that, it messes with the tail as well. So, let's see if I can make this a big boy. 
ですよ I finally felt at this point I could start sculpting on the body and actually get a main form. And this is what's crazy because now I'm in two and a half hours into this sculpt and I'm just now starting to do details. It's horrible. I gotta stop trying to be a perfectionist. So if any of you do that, don't be a perfectionist. Just go and just make it. It'll save you so much time. In case you're wondering why I keep looking up, I was actually watching Akame got kill during this school. So, uh, it gets pretty intense. Great anime. You should, uh, definitely watch it on Netflix. Akame got kill! I was able to get the body done. Um, for the main look, there's still a lot of changes that need to be made to it. Just looking at it, I can tell a lot of stuff is going to be added and removed. And, uh, it's going to be a little crazy, but it's going to be freaking cool when it's done. Let's do it. Let's keep going. Now that I finished up the skull and the jaw, I can move on to the other things, the minor things such as claws, and that's where it gets really fun, because after I finish getting out the claws, I can start really focusing on building out the body. Or not building out the body, but sculpting to make it look like the actual monster. Awesome! Everything is awesome!
this is a very crucial step. I'm making brushes, chisel brushes, uh, specifically for this monster. What this does is it makes it so I don't have to create every little spike and every little tooth. I create it once and then I can modify it as I go through the model. Super convenient. I used to make every single tooth and every single spike and it would take me hours just in that. Now it takes me less than 30 minutes. I just saved myself so much time by making those tools. Now, I'll uh, show you how it works, pretty cool. So what I do, say I want this part to have spikes. Let's take it, I have it already selected, but we're gonna select the uh, Devaho tooth. Right and just make spikes. Of course, that's not where they're gonna go, but for the sake of this. It's pretty neat. I mean, you can angle them, you can change them. And then I don't have to make all those teeth every single time. It's pretty awesome. Now that I have the form down and the detail is where I want them, I can actually add the muscle layers. I usually will go in through and build actual muscles like they would be in the body, but because the Devaho has a really thick structure, I'm just gonna go ahead and make him buff, really buff. And then when he turns savage Devaho, we're just gonna make him even more buff. Yeah. Muscles! Remember when I said it used to take me hours to do the teeth? This is a really good representation of how quick it is now that I have these tools made. I can not only make the teeth, but I can make most of the main details and spikes for the Devaho. In less than an hour, I get his entire body done.
If you notice right here, I actually uh, open his mouth. And the reason for that is if I have a mouth open on a creature, it's a lot easier to manipulate it and actually close it than it is to have a closed mouth and reopen it. Once I got that shape down, everything goes a lot smoother. And within less than 10 minutes, I have a whole new form that's powerful, looks awesome, and the Devaho, my Devaho, is really starting to take shape. And that's why it's so crucial to separate the mouth, because if the two pal blah, 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 blah. and that's why it's so crucial to separate the two mouths. They're not even two mouths. Oh my gosh, it's a skull and a head. So that's why it's so important to make sure that the skull and the jaw are two separate pieces. Oh, it also allows me to make this look more realistic as I go through and add to it. Are you gonna wave? Hi everybody! Isn't that cool? Okay, hey, say bye. This was a lot of fun for me because I wanted to make it look like his mouth went along the entire length of his body, mainly because I loved Gluttony from Full Metal Alchemist. So I wanted something that Devaho had that he could eat the world. He's a world eater. Duh. Gluttony. 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 You see me make one spike, you see me make them all. Let's fast forward this. Now it's time for the poly paint. That is when you paint all the polygons on the figure. So this is gonna be interesting. Never done it before. Let's do this. Oh, I've done it, but. I don't know how to do it well.
Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe.